Today, Senate leader Harry Reid held up a tiny copy of the Constitution to defend, of all things, earmarks. The little Constitution that we have uh, doesn't have a lot of information in it. Earmarks are pet projects that members of Congress pay for with your tax dollars. Reid says Congress's power to earmark helps balance the executive branch powers. But earmarks have become synonymous with congressional waste and excess. There are $8.3 billion in earmarks added onto the current spending bill. $236 million worth belongs to the man holding up the Constitution, and he proudly disclosed and defended them all. Reed earmarked your tax dollars for noxious weeds, cutthroat trout, dairy and meat goat research, you name it, it's in there. But today, Reed attacked colleagues who voted to ban earmarks, yet stuffed a bunch of them into the spending bill. If uh, you went to H in the dictionary and found hypocrite, under that would be people who ask for earmarks but vote against them. 28 senators voted for an earmark ban that didn't pass, but have mega earmarks of their own. Republican Robert Wicker has his name on about $450 million worth, including shrimp aquaculture and wood utilization. Democrat Mark Warner earmarked $66 million for marine aquaculture, horticultural crops, and more. If anyone deserves props in this whole controversy, it might be the 11 senators who voted to ban earmarks and didn't put any in the current bill. The fury over earmarks is so bitter, the president worries it will keep the whole spending bill from getting enough votes to pass. That would disrupt budgets government-wide. The president uh, would strongly prefer uh, a piece of legislation that uh, doesn't contain any of those earmarks. But the White House spokesman urged Congress to hold its nose and vote for the spending bill, earmarks and all, to keep the Pentagon and other government agencies operating normally. Katie? Cheryl Atkinson. Cheryl, thank you.